हेलो एंड वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर अनिल जोशी वेलकम्स यू टू दिस शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन calcaneus is also important bone in the foot so calcaneus lateral we are seeing patient is sitting then central ray is over the calcaneus the angulation is up to 45 there is no fixed angulation here you have to go clinically see the calcaneus see how much patient can stretch it and you give angulation accordingly the distance is 100 cm film size is 10 by 12 inches and bucky is not required Now this is a routinely employed method by us. We give 45 degrees angle. We ask patient to stretch the uh, foot, and we give the angulation of 45 degrees cephalad. Now let us see in the video how it is done. Instruction to the patients are important in this. He has to follow your instruction. Then the technical aspect also I told you is slightly difficult. Otherwise the sling will come out. Yes, that is what is happening. Now we have to take it slightly down. It should rest. Yes, it should rest there. And sometimes you may not get a adequate angle with all this maneuvering. So what you have to do when you are giving angulation to the tube? Now the, we are giving angulation to the tube. We have to go with a tube angulation of cephalad 45. Now that is what is done. That is how we give angulation to the. Now the center is kept. on the calcaneus so we are going to project calcaneus it has to be in the center of the film also now this is the correct way you are saying it so can we modify it slightly better or there are there any some other methods we have to call collimate extrusion yes now we are trying to get more stretch that's correct for that you have to give the sling little towards the distal end so that the flexion will be more and you will get a better calcaneal projection so this is must and important it is dr plate here so you can have a good manipulation of the foot calcaneus and the sling it is easy since you are going to keep it over it now what is the anatomical structure you see is the sulcus for the hallux That is the flex hallucius longus. Then sustaining the talus. What we have seen just now. Then the talocalcaneal articulation. Then medial process, tuberosity, lateral process, trochanter process, and go for the peroneus longus. So they are important and they are visualized well in this projection. And we are seeing this a lateral as well as in different the axial projection. Lateral. This is the correct lateral. This lateral is oblique. You can make out with the fingers. So if you find it like this calcaneus, you are sure that is oblique, and you confirm it with the positions of the metatarsal. They have to overlap over each other. So this is the correct lateral, and this lateral yeah, it has got some angulation. So this to be this needs to be corrected like this. It has to be correct to lateral. Now second are the axial projection. Here you are seeing it is. Uh, something like a shortening so if that is the case your angulation need to be improvised now this is the good angulation you are getting good elongated calcaneus and here you are getting it shortened so this has to be kept in mind when you are seeing a radiograph if you are seeing a radiograph correct it angulation and go it, go for it again thank you for watching this video now in case if you need more information do visit our website there are more article more illustrations and more informations the addresses are given they are just one click away from you